Let's take a look at Ableton's amazing auto filter. If you have the auto filter on just by itself, nothing's gonna change in terms of sound. But once you start changing the combination of filter frequency and resonance, which you can do in this little XY matrix here, clearly you're hearing a sound like that beat or you're just leaving a club or the, just closed a door. So you're hearing a bit of a muffled sound. But as you lift this little dot up, you'll have more resonance. And as you lift the dot down to the left hand side, you're reducing your filter frequency and the combination works together like that. Now the other thing you have is you have all of these different types of algorithms, but I think generally clean works best for me. And then you can change the slope from 12 to 24 and vice versa. Let's just change that now. So what a lot of people don't know about auto filter or don't use very much because it's quite a subtle thing is the side chain. So just like a glue compressor or a compressor's side chain, it will attenuate or dark the filter's sound whenever the third party sound is triggered. So for example, here we can trigger the kick. Let's just solo the kick and that synth sound. So we'll just do that now. And just by moving the envelope a little bit to the right, you'll start hearing the ducking of the auto filter against that kick. Now let's bring on all the other instruments. So I should duck all the other instruments, obviously, except for the kick. We can reduce the release, as that will actually re speed up the amount of time that the ducking takes place in. And then we can obviously change the position there. 